welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am doing a natural makeup look. You guys love me doing makeup videos and I love filming them. So I thought I'd film it today for you all. If you really enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Palmer and I upload every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. And I love filming for you all. <coughs> so I've got a sort of fast sore throat. And I also have a vlogging channel which is Palmer Cordwell's Vlogs X. I have been vlogging all summer so far and I'm loving it. So make sure you subscribe to that channel. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I first apply my face with my collection primer. This primer is so good and I put it all put over my face with my beauty blender. And I put it on my cheeks to start off with and then I put it on my chin and then I put it on my nose and I put loads on my forehead. My makeup stays on all day with this primer and it's like a foundation, this primer. It's really good. And then this is, I'm showing you what it looks like. And then I use my Primark brush to gently like dampen it in. Because I wet it before. And then I just dampen it in. And then I use my Beauty Blender in a minute to blend it in. And I, I, I use two techniques to blend in now. I use my brush and my Beauty Blender. And this is such a good way to blend in. Then I'm just using my brush again to blend it all in and it looks really good if you use a brush and a beauty blender then i use my conceal and light like a pro collection palette and i'm using the darkest shade for under my eyes under my nose the bridge of my nose and on my nose and it makes my makeup look more shinier and then you won't see the spots because i get lots of spots now because I'm 17, you get loads more spots. So I put this everywhere on my face. I do a triangle underneath my eyes. And then I do a bit of my chin. And I do two little bits underneath my nose. Because I get spots there quite a bit. And then, I'm, and then I blend it in with my foundation brush at the end. And this is so good to blend in concealer. I use this technique all the time. And it's a really good technique to blend in all of your... your blemishes as well and these brushes are really soft then i use my green corrector it's so good for spots and i put on two bits on my spot under my eyes and i put on two little bits then i use my foundation end to blend it in and this corrector is so good then i use my nyx contour and a highlighter kit and i love this so much so i'm going to be contouring my cheeks with the darkest shade and i also use this for the top of my forehead and on my nose and on my chin so i'm doing the fish face and then i'm doing my forehead and i'm doing my nose and this is such a good contour palette and i really like this palette because and now i'm using my highlighter and i use it for the edge of my eyes and on my nose and I like to blend my highlighter in. It, it makes it more shinier if you blend it in. And it's a really good technique. And I'm using my powder from Models Own. And this makes my makeup look more complete. And it makes it look more shinier. And I use this all over my face. And my makeup will look so natural once you've applied some powder on. And I'm using my brush from Models Own. I got this in a little gift set. Now I have applied my eyeshadow. I'm going for a natural look. So my eyes will match my skin. So the colour I am choosing is like a beigey colour. And it matches my skin. And I'm gently just doing it over my eyes. And this brush is so good. You only need to do one little stroke. And then you're done with eyeshadow. And it's really good. And I really like this eyeshadow. And this is great for a natural look. So now I'm going to move on to mascara. So the mascara I'm using today is my number 7 mascara. It's for a dramatic lift look. And I love this mascara so much. The brush is so good as well on the mascara. And it makes my eyes really good. Now I apply my lip product. So the first one I'm going to be applying is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the colour Berlin. I use a dark colour for underneath and then I use a super dry lip gloss over top. And I make sure my brown one covers my whole lips because it looks better on your lips if you do it all over. 
and then I make sure there's no smudges and I make sure it's all on. Then I use my super dry lip gloss and I cover it all over and it makes it a more lighter colour and a more natural look. So I use, this is in like a, a pinky colour and I just put it all over my lips and it makes my lips more shinier, more smoother and much more better. end of my video i really hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also comment down below if you want any more videos like this and i'll see you guys on friday for a brand new video bye